my art is a way of processing my experiences, of connecting with people in the process. Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News The world of technology is developing at a never-before pace. Let's take a look at the latest news in the world of humanoid robots. Tesla faces tough task. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently said his company plans to build a humanoid robot, leveraging its learnings from developing AI-based self-navigation for autonomous vehicles. As a way of explaining why this might be a natural move for Tesla, Musk declared that his firm is arguably the world's biggest robotics company. That may come as a surprise to observers that thought Tesla was a car company, but Ben Wolf, chairman and CEO of Sarcos Robotics, a robotics company that has been around since the 1980s, thinks Musk is right. Sarcos is well aware of the challenges Tesla might face because Sarcos worked on creating humanoid robots for a time back in the 1990s. The intelligence and the algorithms that were necessary to create a humanoid robot were not there yet, Wolf said. But he added that there are other challenges to creating the type of robot Tesla talked about. For the last several years, Sarcos has been focused on developing robotic exoskeletons, such as its Guardian XO, and robots that can be controlled by human users. It also has received some attention for developing exoskeleton Iron Man suits for the US military. Tesla is talking about a humanoid robot operated by artificial intelligence, Wolf said. Our exoskeleton is, in effect, a humanoid robot operated by human intelligence. While Wolf agrees with Musk that there are some underlying similarities between autonomous vehicles and other types of robotic systems, and that some technology can be carried over, he feels self-navigating humanoid robots with some artificial intelligence would have many more variables to contend with than autonomous vehicles do. Humanoids, but with human skin. When you think of a robot, it's likely you'd picture something hard and rigid, probably made out of metal or plastic. Something that's clearly not human and isn't trying to look like one. Beware the uncanny valley. Soft androids made from flesh-like materials, like Data from Star Trek The Next Generation or Ash in Alien, are just a thing of sci-fi, aren't they? Actually, making robots look more human is a top priority when designing them to interact with people in healthcare and service industries, since a human-like appearance can improve communication and evoke likability, apparently. Now, biohybrid robots, made of both living and artificial materials, are one step closer to walking among us, with scientists from Japan designing living human skin on a robot according to a new study. By combining robotics with tissue engineering, the team have given a robotic finger a skin-like look and texture, as well as water repellent and self-healing capabilities that will particularly be helpful when they go Terminator on us. Remote-controlled humanoid nursing robots Inspired by healthcare needs during the COVID-19 pandemic, Assistant Professor of Robotics Engineering Jane Lee is leading a team of researchers on a project to develop advanced remote-controlled humanoid nursing robots that can help medical workers care for patients who are in quarantine or isolation. The researchers, who expect to begin testing a new prototype this summer, are aiming to develop a user-friendly robot that can perform nursing-related tasks in settings where a high risk of contagion or infection threatens the health of nurses. Although medical robots are used in major hospitals today, Lee says they are difficult to learn to use and difficult to operate, which often increases nurses' workloads. To solve this challenge, Lee is continuing development of a Telerobotic Intelligent Nursing Assistant, or Trina, a mobile humanoid robot that has arms equally strong and gentle to transport medications or infectious samples, help patients adjust their positions, and even lift and carry a patient. Trina was developed at Duke University in 2016. Lee was a postdoctoral researcher on the project. According to Lee, Trina could benefit patients as well as healthcare staff who are dealing with an aging American population and a persistent nursing shortage. Nino, brand new humanoid robot. IIT Roorkee presented an intelligent humanoid robot, Nino, on day two of the annual TechFest Cognizance. Nino is a humanoid that can talk, walk, dance, sing, play with its innate intelligence. It is built by Serena Technologies, an emerging robotics company focused on delivering new, world-class products to the market. Cognizance 2022, Asia's second-largest three-day technical fest, continued the wave of exciting events, workshops, and much more. Nino was part of Cognizance's exhibition series. Halodi Robotics to supply 140 humanoid robots. 
Haloti Robotics has signed an agreement to provide 140 humanoid robots to ADT Commercial, a U.S.-based provider of commercial security, fire, life safety, and risk consulting services. This is believed to be the largest deal of its kind involving humanoid robots. The two companies demonstrated their joint solution at the ISC West trade show in the Las Vegas Convention Center. The agreement is the result of the strategic partnership announced in April 2021, where Haloti Robotics secured an investment from ADT Commercial to develop a robot to complement their physical security solutions. The world's first ultra-realistic humanoid robot artist Ada is the first ultra-realistic artist robot in the world. She creates art using cameras in her eyes, AI algorithms, and her robotic arm. In February 2019, she had her first solo display, Unsecured Futures, at the University of Oxford, where her work challenged people to consider our quickly changing environment. She has subsequently traveled and displayed her art worldwide, including her first big museum presentation, the Design Museum, in 2021. In a post-humanist world, she continues to do work that questions our concepts of creativity. For decades, artificial intelligence has been a part of our daily lives. While it still has a future technical feel and a slew of critics and people who dread its effect, it has already assimilated into our culture. And because it has long been entangled with creative practices, projects integrating the two domains are not uncommon to hear about traveling globally. It is startling that artist robot Ada was held at the Egyptian border on espionage charges. Ada is an android developed by English gallerist Aidan Meller and Cornish robotic business Engineered Arts, and named after mathematician and pioneering computer programmer Ada Lovelace. The robot is well prepared for fine arts, with two cameras for eyes and a bionic arm capable of fine motoric skills such as drawing. Her AI is trained for sketching, painting, and even sculpting. Ada has impressed the world with her capacity to create images of people and situations she sees. She has contributed to the continuing discussion about AI's role in creative practices. Individuals understand that art may imply different things to different people. Art's role and definition evolve across time. Because it represents the massive integration of technology in today's society, Ada's work is art. According to Professor Margaret Bowden's criterion, works must be fresh, startling, and culturally significant for Ada to be considered innovative. Humanism is a prevalent mindset nowadays, in which art is purely human and stems from human action. However, current thinking argues that we are moving away from humanism and toward a period where technology and algorithms affect our behavior to the point that our agency is no longer solely our own. It's being delegated to algorithmic judgments and recommendations, and total human agency is becoming less secure. Ada makes art because the need for human action alone no longer constrains it. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.